everybody welcome back to the channel it's good to see you here once again Jay here just let you know um, today we're going to talk about um, what's inside my PC hmm what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the microphone over to my face you're going to hear the little crumbles but we are going to talk about power supplies okay now, for you new builders, I want you to understand something. If you're not into overclocking or anything else, which I have overclocked my PC, but I've already overclocked my PC all the way up to where I consider a happy medium, but stable. But... I'm doing it with the Thermaltake BX Smart BX1 750 watt power supply. Now, what I do have for you is this. I can tell you about the power supply. I can tell you a lot about the power supply. It's 80 plus bronze. 88% power efficiency it's the smart BX1 series and it's available at the 450 watt through 750 watt models okay constructed with a 120 millimeter hydraulic ball bearing fan which that fan is quiet as all can be the reason why I'm going to say it's quiet and y'all don't believe that I got one, well guess what? Right there. Right there. I got one. And it's in this computer that I'm broadcasting to you on. See, the reason why I got thermal take was because the price on the thermal take is not bad at all okay you pay seventy dollars brand new off of Amazon and you can get one of those if they still have them I'm not sure if they do or they don't but when they had a good sale on them I think I got I think I got mine for what was it uh, fifty nine ninety nine at the time so I got two of them. Well, you figure if you spend 120 bucks on two power supplies, is it worth the deal? Yeah. Comes with the five-year warranty. It's continuous. It'll give you 675 continuous watts of power. Okay. Don't take it wrong. When you get a power supply you have to look at all the little details this is why this is why you get the booklet here see the booklet here the booklet tells you everything you need to know about your PC I mean your uh, PSU tells you how many connectors and everything else we'll go through all that just this is one video that's just nothing but thermal take the 750 watt power supply it's not going to be about anything else but the power supply so as I'm going through I'm running the the Ryzen 5 series off of this power supply it's Intel C6 and C7 states ready and it's 80 plus bronze I know everybody's gonna say well it's not gold and everything else well you know what we all don't have gold in our pockets and we all can't afford you know this is this is for the consumer guy that just wants to get one of those PCs that can get up and running and gaming you know with let's say a DDR4 motherboard you know maybe Ryzen maybe Intel you know 
but you know what this is the kind of power supply I would use with what I have all right you know if you want to do the b550 motherboards it'll do it it'll do the b450 you know those are the two range of motherboards if you just want to get in and get some gaming going on that's you know the right there at the beginning level it will it does have six plus two pin connectors for a discrete graphics card that's a plus you know and it's got plenty plenty of SATA connectors you know I think you got about six and you know it's power power wise I I push this pretty hard and I'll tell you what the fans the fan is like ah oh, quiet as can be um, it comes with a 24 pin main power connector it comes with an ATX 12 volt 4 plus 4 for your motherboard it comes with 8 SATA 4 pin um, comes with 8 SATA connectors um, comes with the PCIe 6 plus 2 it says 4 I'll have to investigate that more I didn't even look at that I think it might have 4 um, it has uh, has 4 4 pin Molex connectors and it has one four pin floppy adapter let's say if you want to like rebuild an old um, Intel PC it'll go all the way down to the where that old Intel PC is you know let's say you got a 250 watt power supply in that old Windows 98 PC and you want to upgrade it to a 750 watt well guess what you got it long as it's proprietary as long as it's standard to the market today it should work with that motherboard I mean I mean if you put 750 watts to oh, 675 to and so on to um, that motherboard I'm sure you won't be starving it for power that's like overkill but you know how overkill gets overkill is always good sometimes from what what this shows here that the 3.3 volt is 24 amps and it max power outputs 100 watts um, the 5 the 5 volt line is 18 amps at 100 watts the 12 volt line is 56 amps at 675 watts the negative 12 volt rail at 0.5 amps is 6 watts and the positive VSB is 2.5 amps at 12.5 watts and that's the 12 volt uh, rail the high amperage single from what what I see on this this is a I know there's testing out there about power supplies and everything else about you know um, how they tested thermal take and you know it went up in smoke and this and that well you know I've been I've been running thermal take for quite a few years you know I have a 430 that's in my other PC I have the 750 in this PC my the 430 is well enough for that PC that I got it's a Dell Optiplex uh, 790 it's only got the i5 2400 core it's gen gen 3 yeah it's gen 3 uh, with DDR3 that computer is running 16 gigabits uh, gigabytes of a uh, RAM and um, it's running uh, a GT 730 4 gigabyte uh, video card it runs it like a dream 
I don't have one no problem with it whatsoever it just runs the ripple noise of this thing this um, power supply is all ripples are lower than 80 millivolts on a 12 volt and lower than 40 millivolts on a 5 volt or 3.3 volt from 0 to 100 load to ensure stable operation to keep your performance critical components such as high-end graphics cards function to re uh, reliability and for longer so that means basically when you're running uh, a good high-end um, graphics card you basically running that high-end graphics card you'll have um, a lot of support from it and it from I'm gonna test this on a graphics card so far I haven't used the system yet on a graphics card because I'm running an iGPU from the Ryzen 5 5600 G but I do plan to run a discrete graphics card in this PC in the future and I will have that on a future build so y'all stay tuned for that make sure also to you like and subscribe and if you're liking my videos make sure you get in and ring that bell down below and let everybody know where the the talk of the time is and I'll make sure we have a bunch of fun I am gonna be doing a live streaming as soon as I get enough um, subscribers the more subscribers then I'll be able to do uh, a live stream for everybody I'm gonna do it on a weekly basis probably catch it on like um, usually mainly the day that everybody's off probably on a Sunday like a Sunday afternoon I'm kinda of thinking so we'll do and we'll do an hour live stream and um, We'll go on some crazy builds and, you know, do some crazy stuff on there. So make sure you all stay tuned for that because, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, and um, um, um. also to, you know, don't fret about the thermal take power supply. You know, to me, I think it's an awesome deal for a person that doesn't have um, a lot of money. You know, if you don't if you don't have a lot of money, you know, this would be the perfect for you. It's it's uh, non-modular, so it doesn't come with those disconnect cables. The cables are my be beef is this: I will not buy modular power supplies just to make the cables look good and everything in the back I'd rather just take and fit them in and strap them up and hide them just nice and neatly reason is is because when I work when I years ago when I was working on electronics the thing is this the the rule that we always use is the more bricks in the wire the more the resistant becomes so that means that when you have resistance you get less power okay don't let everybody fool you these these modulars the word you can change the, and pull the plugs and put the plugs in will never be hardwired and these non-modular power supplies that are hardwired will give you a better power output than those modular uh, power supplies the ones with the plugs and if you don't believe me ask around because I'm going to tell you back years ago that's the way it used to roll to where if you have a break in the wire that's usually mean if you put a plug in there there's going to be some kind of static charge on that plug it's it's like your car with the spark plugs and the wires when you clip it on there's an extra clip inside there to hold it tight I mean to hold it real tight to the tip of that spark plug for the reason of static charge 
it will cause a resistance and as long as you got that resistance in there it's gonna it's gonna cause you know a static overload but with it hardwired and if they don't believe me you know I've tested this out I mean <laughs> a modular power supply in me don't last long because I want to pull as much power as I can out of it and the more power I can pull out of it the better it is you know I've already tested this on a meter and it runs good shows it's awesome amperage wise and everything else so you know yeah I'm gonna stand by this power supply here because I've used it I'm still using it and I'm gonna continue to use it I got a five-year warranty I mean what am I gonna beat five years five years is a good thing but anyway this this video is about um, the Thermaltake BX1750 okay you can get it on Amazon you probably can get it on Newegg but don't expect great prices because I don't really trust Newegg Newegg me don't get along too fast but maybe in the future they probably will but anyway like and subscribe ring ring the bell down below and let everybody know this is the channel and the place to be. Until the next time, we will see you then. Have a great day.